<laughs> what once beloved person, thing, or organization is now a complete joke? Oprah, I know she gets a lot of hate now, deservedly so for supporting many horrendous grifters. However, when her show first aired, I admired her as someone who seemed genuine and who discussed issues that people in my neighborhood would never openly talk about, she was the only counter-narrative to my family's deeply held problematic beliefs. Rudy Giuliani was NYC's hero after the 9th of November. Sadly, Jerry Lewis and his annual Labor Day telethon for MDA, after Jerry left was ousted, they dwindled it down from a 20-plus hours marathon to a few hours until eventually it got cancelled. I grew up in an era when watching the MDA telethon was an annual tradition, rejoicing how every year Jerry managed to raise more than the last, it was just non-stop hours of Hollywood's finest singing and dancing away on your TV for Jerry's kids, it was really something. Streaming sites and AMP, digital goods, people are switching to piracy and hard copies, it pissed people off when they found out that they don't actually own the digital media they buy, even sites that claim you own the digital copies is false, read your terms and conditions. People are pretty mad about having to pay extra to get rid of ads on top of already paying for premium too, I wouldn't be surprised to see other digital platforms following this line, I would be a bit surprised if Netflix incorporated it though. Google was once thought of as a technical marvel of a company that put out consistently great products and had a strong sense of ethics, they are begrudgingly accepted now at best and actively disliked by many for their consistently diminishing quality, questionable ethics, and horrendous privacy. Autism Speaks, it's a horrible organization that cares more about giving money to the warrior mommies instead of helping autistic children, it shows autism to be a horrible disease instead of just another disability which it is, they promote dangerous and absurd ways to handle meltdowns and refuse to listen to concern of actual autistic people, so yeah frick the puzzle piece. Kevin Spacey, two-time Oscar winner and extremely respected actor who could have had a great Twilight Years career and was supposed to be a legend, but it turns out he's a disgusting pedo. Not that this is anything to thumb your nose at, but he's now been relegated to trying to get people to purchase pictures with him and his autograph in exchange for pretty high amounts of money, he was at a convention recently, with his poster marked first convention appearance like it was super exciting, but commenting on social media was immediately turned off, ouch. Edit, taking this from another comment edit of mine, but I gotta say I do love that a few of you are defending the guy and telling me I'm slandering him, as J, Jonah Jameson all taught us over 20 years ago, in print, it's libel, can I just point out that most people were thinking, oh, cool, a murderer died about OJ Simpson less than a week ago? I mean, he, too, was acquitted, it's almost funny how many of you defend a person who wouldn't think about you twice after looking at you, Gotta wonder how many of y'all are also Polanski apologists. Netflix, lived long enough to watch themselves become the villain. Amazon, watching Prime Video and I thought removing the ability to filter out the front-loaded crap to subscribe to other companies or buy movies was bad a few months ago, but now they're forcing ads on us, I already pay to be ad-free mother f curs, otherwise I'd be watching TV. Susan G, Komen for breast cancer, Almost all the money goes to paying the foundation members. Asterisk asterisk people asterisk asterisk. Paula Dean, Ellen DeGeneres, and Will Smith. Asterisk asterisk thing asterisk asterisk. T.Y. Beanie Babies. Asterisk asterisk organization asterisk asterisk. Boeing, Disney. Side note. Remember when Crocs used to be a joke and somehow made a comeback? Danny Masterson from That 70s Show. OJ said he was gonna dedicate his life to finding the real killer, now we'll never know. Didn't Peter start out being sort of reasonable? Irk their holocaust on your plate campaign when I was in high school was the turning point for me when they started to look really unhinged. Rosie O'Donnell, Ellen DeGeneres, and Paula Dean. All they had to do was keep their mouth shut or treat people like humans. Diddy has been having a rough patch lately. Twitter, and because of Twitter, Elon is also a complete joke, two birds with one stone. Honestly anything Elon touches, he was once touted as the eccentric weirdo who would change the world, now I'm pretty sure he will have a major hand in, if not entirely orchestrating, the downfall of humanity. So yeah I guess he will still change the world. Eric Clapton, sadly, for spouting off about what a racist bigot he is. Oh Jay, Simpson was once someone people admired and were entertained by. 
O.J. Simpson and Bill Cosby come to mind. Probably never was beloved but he sure is a joke now. Elon Musk. I don't know about beloved, but Prince Harry's popularity took a pretty steep dive in a relatively short period of time. I will get so much hate for this but the USA. When I was a kid everyone I knew dreamed of going to the US and living there, it felt like it was untouchable, everything that came from there was so damn cool. Then Trump happened. This is a bit esoteric and will only be known to people that have worked in large corporations but personality training, my term. There used to be many consulting companies that would help a company determine what kind of personalities each employee had and would provide strategies for interacting with the different kinds of personalities. Employees would then be encouraged to share their personality types so that everyone knew the best ways to interact. It was all Myers-Briggs testing dressed up in different ways and the people working the courses knew exactly how to talk to executives. Management ate this stuff up until a few years ago when they dropped it, Older managers hold their tongues about it while younger ones who didn't experience it make fun of the premise. Bill Cosby, he went from being no as America's dad, to a fricking predator.